Um, so like if you go modify here and hopefully it won't need to update again. Uh, there is this whole thing. It's up here at the very top. I also use VS code. Uh, we decided just to switch over for this time. Uh, and then I'm probably going, we're probably going to do some stuff in PyCharm. We were creating a journal. So sometimes it's just easier just to show it first. So I'm going to hit start here and it's displaying the text inside of the uh, app only because we haven't actually built any other functionality outside of load. All we're doing right now is we're printing that we're entering main. We're just kind of doing some debugging as we're going. We've got another um, method here called load file, which is just defined right here. So load file journal name, just giving it like default journal, um, journal data, and we're doing journal dot load, and then we're passing in the journal name. So right here is the name. It's just default dot journal. It's loading that in in case we want to change it somewhere. And then we're also printing out what comes back uh, from uh, the journal data. So journal data, and then we just have our main uh, down here, which is just going to call main once this loads. Over in our actual journal, we have an import statement. So we're importing OS. Um, and then uh, for the data at the beginning, there's nothing in it. Um, we're going to go into file name, get the full path, just print it out here. And then we're using the built-in operating system to make sure that the file name exists. And then we're going to go open the file. We're going to go for each entry in it. And then we're going to go data.append. So it's appending all this data. And then we're just returning it. And here's the full path name down here at the bottom. We know it's working properly right now at the moment simply because over here, this is the default journal.txt and it's returning back hello uh, Twitch stream. So again, when we run the application, this is, uh, this is where that's actually appearing at. Well, what about actually saving um, the, the data? And I'm just using the tab completion. Uh, we're going to do a couple of things here. So we called the first one uh, DEF load. So now we're going to go save. And what type of arguments uh, do you think we would need to pass into it? Well, I think first off, we would probably need to pass in the name of the actual file. Well, we'd probably also want to send through uh, the data, uh, journal data, right? So we're going to need the file name, right? For this, this one, print. And this is actually, this we would probably change to like F out in journal data, journal data. Okay, so for entry in the journal data, would we want to, what would we want to do? Out dot write, because we don't want to append any data, our entry, and we don't need to strip really any characters. There was another, there was other ways that I think we were able to do this, um, but this will give us a new line at the end of each and every one of these. No, I think it's that way. I think you got to do, uh, I think you got to do this as a W. Okay, so for like read, and then this one over here is going to be like for write. All right, as F out, we're actually not going to return anything on this one, so I need to remove that. Let's go DEF, because we're going to split it out, and let's go add entry, and this time we're going to pass in uh, tech, and we're going to need the journal data, and uh, what will we do here? We're going to call journal, journal underscore data dot and then we could do it on text. This right here is going to get us, I think, where we really kind of want to go. So in here, we're still importing our journal. Now, you know, if we really, 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 really wanted to, um, we could come over here and let's just do a journal dot. And what do we have here? Well, guess what? Those things that we just uh, created, they're now here. So and this new method, uh, this is going to run like a loop. Uh, this is like a run the event loop. So we could go DEF. Okay. So just a simple, another print statement. It's on the command lines. So we would probably keep our command variable and let's go empty. Okay. So what I would do here is some of this, let's uh, kind of refactor as we go here. We don't want to really need to print anything here, but we are going to need to put ourselves inside of a loop, right? We're going to make them hit X to exit. 
uh, to get out of it. Okay. And then in here, um, how would we want to put all of this together is we'd want to give them uh, a command and we're going to go our input and we're going to go. Um, so you can add another journal item. You can do L and you can actually uh, list out the items and then you can also exit. What would you, what would you like to do next with your journal dot to uh, command dot lower dot strip returns a copy of the stream converted to lowercase and then we've got our strip right here which is this gets just rid of any of the uh the back uh the spaces that's in here and we're going to start with uh we'd have like an l right uh to list things uh what type of command would we want to pass in there we would want to pass in over here the journal data. So we'll go journal and then data. And we're going to go list entries, right? Uh, if we want to list all the entries, we are going to need to pass something in. And that would be the data. Let's see, entries.reversed. Uh, and then this is data, the index in one of these. Entry and enumerate, E-N-U-M, entries and enumerate. And put this on here. I figured out the formatting on some of these. So index plus one. Remember that it always starts with a zero entry. We did not um, tell it to run the event loop. Here's our here's our file entries. Oh, I think I come right here and go entries equals reversed. There we go. Return a reverse iterator over the values. Okay, very good. Do you all see that? So we just did an L. And so what came back was hello Twitch stream, just number one. So it only has one line. Let's take this name and let's go hello. Let's go back here and let's go L. And so what do we have here? And then we've got this right here, which is the, all right, DJ Kali, come on. Let's come down here. And this time we're gonna go add. We can't do more than one at a time. T R Y. Top your entry and press return when finished that we were just talking about. And what do we want to do? We want to pass in the text. Then we just want to pass in the data uh, that's coming in here, right? All right. And the same thing is going to go for uh, the last option, which is just the option to uh, quit. So A means we're going to add the entry. Now we can, it'll just find it automatically for us. And what do we want to pass in? to the entry here, journal data. Does anybody know how to quit out? I'm sorry, actually it was the X, right? Does anybody know how to exit out? Um, please enter a valid number. And we would want to um, make sure that we're saving um, all of our work. So journal dot save and journal J O U R journal underscore name and then the journal underscore data here well there it is <laughs> okay let's run it again this one so i'm going to go um hello and then we're going to do an l here to list we've got all three of our entries awesome 